What is it, everybody? Welcome back to another review. I know I'm wearing a daughter's strange shirt. Doesn't fit for this video, but I had no other Thor shirt to wear. Today I'm getting. Oh, wow. Oh. I just woke up less than 10 minutes ago. But anyway. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing Thor Love and Thunder. Uh, this movie I've been waiting for ever since it got announced because uh, Thor is my favorite MCU character. His favorite Marvel superhero anyway. Um, I just absolutely love him. Uh, this will have spoilers. So if you have not watched the movie, make sure you click off. Um, if you don't care about spoilers, you still want to know, then I guess you can. I don't, uh, I mean, I wouldn't do it, <laughs> but anyway, I'm not going to give my whole backstory on the, um, on just like the review, like I used to do. I'm just going to give you my general review, like I do with Miss Marvel. So this will be probably fairly short, but yeah, the movie was great. It was actually um, not better than what I was hoping for, but it was there. Uh, I was not disappointed. It was a really good movie. That's what I enjoyed. I really wanted a fun movie. Nothing like um, real crazy. It was not like Ragnarok. It was like, um, it was a little, it was more, it was not more serious than Ragnarok, but you know what I mean? It was just like more fun, funny, hilarious. It was a hilarious movie. And, um, it just, um, it hit all the right spots. Um, yeah, but, like, Jane has, um, cancer in the movie. They didn't specify which cancer, but in the comics, I believe it was breast cancer. Um, and then she later dies from it at the end of the movie. And, um, I don't know why Marvel can't give Thor a break. Like, he's losing everything. Lost his mother, his father, his brother, three times. <laughs> Um, Heimdall, you know, his home, his eye, his hammer, he lost against the NS one time, he lost his ex, well, the girlfriend, you know, it, it, it all changes in the movie, it depends, I don't know even if they're back, but I time it, I the movie is, I don't know what happened. But, um, Gore, the God Butcher, he has to be my favorite MCU villain I've ever seen. I'm telling you. His acting is phenomenal from Christian Bale. And, um, he's just the perfect MCU villain for a movie like this. He was so creepy. He comes out of the shadows. He's like a shadow. He's a shadow god. You know, it's, it's all this. It was so cool. You got to see Eternity also. Um, and in the post credit scene, we get teased Hercules, so we're getting Hercules in the MCU. Um, Zeus was a, um, Zeus was, uh, something. <laughs> like, uh, you go into, um, his place, I mean, his little kingdom, Thor was fanboying over Zeus, and Zeus is just talking about orgies. He was like, well, that's not what I expected. Yeah, that's what I was not expecting either. But, um... It was just a good movie all in all. I can tell you a lot of stuff that surprised me. A lot of stuff that I was like, oh my god, that's, that's just cool. And I don't really have any part of the movie that was like, eh, why did I do that? I don't know. Um, I don't think I did. I probably had one time, but I don't remember it. Probably because I just blocked down my head because I want to remember all the good parts of the movie. Um, but um, there has to be one, right? God, I'm trying to think of it. But anyway, I'm not going to force myself to think about it too much. Um, because I'll be here for a while just thinking about it. But it, it was a good movie. I highly recommend watching it if you um, watch Marvel movies. If you're just going to watch it anyway, then go ahead. Because uh, it's a good movie. Um, but yeah, it's a um, great movie. Post credit scene. I need to talk about the post credit scene. Well, the first post credit scene was Zeus talking to Hercules about uh, I think going to find Thor, which is gonna be something. I can already tell you. I don't know how that's gonna 
tie-in. I are they gonna make a fifth Thor movie or is it gonna like tie into another movie? Guardians of the Galaxy three maybe, maybe, uh, that could be something. Uh, no, but uh, Gar oh, speaking of Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy, I think I know what's gonna be the plot of Guardians of the Galaxy three though, maybe. Um, uh, there were a bunch of threats all over the world because Gore was killing around, just going around killing gods. So, uh, a lot of civilians were worried. So, Thor sent the Guardians of the Galaxy to protect the other, other civilians and gods. While, um, Thor goes to Lady Sith, who was in danger at the time. So, I think, uh, that's what's gonna happen in Guardians of the Galaxy. They're gonna be going around saving the people from Gore, even though Gore is gonna be dead and all that. But, um, and then they're gonna run into Adam Warlock, which, <laughs> Which is going to be crazy. I'm ready to see how that goes. Adam Warlock is going to go crazy. I'm ready to see how everything like that goes. And um, that's I think that's what's going to happen in the in the um, in the movie. But um, speaking of the post credit scenes, the first post credit scene, Zeus, Hercules, all that. Second post credit scene at the Wait a while. We show Jane going to Valhalla. Uh, which was, uh, I think, where all the um, warriors die. I mean, where all the warriors go when they die in battle. Something like that. And uh, you hear, I mean, you see Jane. You see Jane. Jane's coming into Valhalla. And um, then you see um, Heimdall. Heimdall was there. And everybody was uh, more excited to see that Heimdall was there in Valhalla and Jane. So I, I don't know. <laughs> but it's a, it's a great movie. It was a great movie. I highly recommend watching it. It's a, it was an amazing movie. It's just like it's the perfect movie for Thor. I loved how Thor was so serious in the first two movies that he changed so much in the past two Thor movies. And um, I can't wait to get this movie on Blu-ray and just like watch it over and over again because this movie was phenomenal to me. It wasn't the best Marvel Phase 4 movie, but it was up there. And some people are going to say, well, that movie was bad. The movie did not have what I expected. I love Thor, so that movie had everything that I wanted. Him in it. That's basically all I wanted, and uh, I got it. Of course I got it. I knew I was going to get it. But, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, smash the like button. Hit that subscribe button for new notification bell so you don't miss videos when I make them. And I will see you next time.